I now request the distinguished delegate of Cuba. Madam President, Cuba, a regional model in sustainable development, has its own stand regarding goal number 12, that is to ensure sustainable conception and production patterns. It is all about doing more and better with less. Turning into a reality, what we stated in paper without letting anyone behind would be our main challenge. Addressing current unsustainable conception and production patterns is very crucial. How can we ignore a world in which population is about to be 9.5 billion by 2050 and about 1.5 billion people live in extreme poverty and deprivation? Cuba, under an enforced blockade, has showed how much can be done with very few resources. We share what we have rather than what we left for the development of other countries. The re-establishment of diplomatic relations between U.S. and Cuba constitute a major progress. However, the U.S. embargo pursues damaging the aspirations of the Cuban people as well as the interests of American citizens. Such a policy, rejected by 188 UN members, must be removed. Even though what Cubans have achieved deserves special attention, we have defined and identified the priority sectors and we give importance to the role played by media as well as we have an estimated budget for SCP process. Madam President, the UN agencies do have a role and this includes establishing a global forum on SCP, an intergovernmental SCP committee and an international secretariat for SCP. I call upon my fellow member states to establish a national committee on SCP. To conclude, Madam President, Cuba is ready to work in a pragmatic manner and to be as flexible as possible. Cuba is ready, Madam President, to come out successfully of this our difficulties. And I call upon my fellow member states because remember, there is no plan B because we cannot have a planet B. Thank you.